Hello and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. My name is Joris and today I am here with the 12th update of our ETF portfolio. And as you can see, we have great news as our dividends are back up to more than 2,500 Swiss francs per year. And in this wrap up for October of 2024, I'm going to talk about the dividends that we received in October, what we bought in October, namely FLXD and GLDV. And FLXD is special because it was only bought with uh, money from dividends that we received from our ETFs. What I'm going to buy at the end of November is going to be VHYL because yeah, in December VHYL is going to pay out some more dividends in the form of US dollars and we want to receive as much US dollars as possible because we want to yeah, pile up our dividends and, and buy the Immersion Market ETF that we have our eyes on and that one is noted in uh, US dollars so yeah we are trying to be as close as possible to $500 which is more cost effective than to, to buy the ETF but so far we aren't there yet we, we have around $300 uh, on our account Swiss quote account right now then I'm going to talk about the value of our ETF portfolio, also the predicted future yearly dividends, and as I already mentioned, it's above 2,500 Swiss francs right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm also going to talk about the two dividends that we are going to receive in November. First off, our monthly dividend paying ETF, XYLF, the S&P 500 cover call ETF from Global X. It paid us out 12.5 US dollar cent per share. So with 95, uh, 94 shares into our account, we, we received 11.75 US dollar from XYLF. From SDGPX, we received on the 15th, actually it was the 17th, you will see in a moment, we received 33.5 euro cents per share and as it is our biggest ETF with 1374 shares in our ETF portfolio we received 460.85 euros from SDGPEX and yeah we we received uh, the past two months we received quite a lot of uh, euros certainly with uh, the amount of 460.85 from SDGPX but also in September we received 14.93 and 33.98 euros from our two European dividend ETFs so in total we had 509.82 euros in our account after we received the dividend of uh, SDGPX on the 17th so on the 17th we reinvested 500 euros into FLXD and you can see it here on GetQueen so 17 pieces at 29.09 but it was actually 0. Point, uh, it was 0. 0.85 euros but this amount was correct 494.45 euros so with the costs of 3, 2.13 and 0 0.74 it came to a total of 500.32 euros that we invested into FLXD we also bought GLDV at the end of the month and there we came to an amount of 913.75 as we bought 30 shares of GLDV at a price of 30.18 Swiss francs right now the price is a bit lower 30.10 Swiss francs but in the long run it doesn't actually matter at the 8 cents more or less it's a uh, yeah it's now a small loss but in the end it it will be uh, uh, they will pay out a lot of dividends and it will not matter those 8 cents And our ETF portfolio right now, so with the 30 pieces of GLDV added, we now have 168 shares of GLDV. And for FLXD, now we have 146 six shares of FLXD. And 
Here it was important because the price of FLXD it, it dropped a bit uh, the past month. So now it's 28.79 euros. But in total it's still green but a different color of green because it's artificial with uh, 17 shares added of course. For GLDV the price went up just as for VHYL. SGPX price would have been up as well. But because of the, the payment of the dividend, it's in, in red right now. So, yeah, you can see it. This month it was quite volatile. But XYLF, it performed actually the best. So, 13.466 Swiss francs right now. So, yeah, too bad that we only have 94 shares of that one. But it is the way it is. We are going slowly and slowly going up to 100,000 ETF portfolio value it's the way to go you you can uh, invest really drastically like a lot of people that do fire they they have high saving rates but uh, I think you still need to live as well so in this regard I'm fine with the fact that uh, we are going slowly with our ETF portfolio and adding more or less 900 Swiss francs every month that's uh, the way to go. So our value of our ETF portfolio, as you know, last time we had a value of 53,204.43 Swiss francs on the 29th of September, that was. And with uh, 17 pieces of FLXD, so our reinvested uh, dividends, together with the 30 pieces of uh, GLDV that we bought, this amounted to an invested amount of 1368.20 Swiss francs and yeah the 13.84 Swiss francs in costs that's also important of course you can't neglect costs but the 1368.20 is important in that regard that we have to subtract our plus value for the month compared to the previous month because yeah that's reinvested or invested money of course so in total, we have now 55,056.59 Swiss francs in portfolio value. And this is actually an increase of 483.96 Swiss francs or a plus of 0.91%. But of course, we also received two dividends in which you know that uh, yeah, the 70 pieces of FLXD, which I subtract here, I'm going to add it immediately back with the uh, two dividends that I'm going to add to the value. So XYLF 10.08 Swiss francs and SDGPX 433.07 Swiss francs. So if you add all those amounts up, we have an actual increase in the month of 927.10 Swiss francs or an increase of 1.74% which is a little bit less than previous month, but it's definitely great that in one month we have an increase which is more than double than what you actually get on a savings account on your bank. So that's something you need to think about. The total dollar amount on our Swiss quote account right now is 313.05 dollars. And the total euro amount on our Swiss quote account is nine and a half euros. Our Swiss francs amount on the Swiss quote account, I can't actually say because we are also saving for our daughters on our, onto our Swiss quote account with CHDV, DVD, ETF, and that one pays out Swiss francs as well. So I can't actually say how much of those Swiss francs are of me and my wife and of our kids. Actually, I can, but I can't show uh, screenshots, so... I have everything in a, in an Excel. I'm an Excel freak, so. But uh, it's it's quite difficult when uh, you want to show, get queen screenshots because you you also see the amounts that we receive from uh, our CHDVD ETFs that we have for our daughters. So in that regard, I'm not going to say our total Swiss francs amount. It's not that important. I think it's now 120 or something like that. But yeah, a part of it is from our daughters. 
Our predicted future dividends, yeah, it's uh, here mixed as well because of the conversion rate, of course. The euro, it remains weak and it dropped again a bit this uh, this past month. The dollar, it's, it's getting a bit stronger. Yeah, it's an uh, election coming up in uh, America and then most of the time the, the dollar is picking up. But you see here the GLDV trading 12 month dividend that you can expect per share. It is down a little bit because of the dividend in the fourth quarter that was lower than, uh, than actually last year. So that's why it went down a bit. But from XYLF, yeah, the, the last two payments, they were quite a lot higher together because the, the last I the, the next one that we are going to receive is a little bit lower than uh, the previous year but the past month so the dividend that you saw earlier in the in the video was higher quite a lot higher than uh, the previous year so in that regard the trailing 12 month dividend from XYLF for one share is up considerably so I'm really happy about that and in total you see yeah with the euro LDG and SGPX the total Swiss francs that we receive from those shares goes down for FLXD because of the 17 shares that we added the total Swiss francs amount is up but without the 17 shares the total Swiss francs amount would have been down as well because of the weak euro but if we add everything up, you see that we have now a yearly dividend of 2,536.14 Swiss francs. So 14 Swiss francs to go to reach the magical border of 2,550. And yeah, if you like more round numbers, we are 46, uh, 64 Swiss francs away from 2,600 Swiss francs. And in monthly dividends now we receive 211.35 Swiss francs on average per month so that's really nice we are back above 2500 Swiss francs per month the euro remains weak but the dollar picked up so that's uh, positive so the message is never panic and just keep investing consistently and the total dividend will show an upward trend over time. So it took two months before we were above 2,500 Swiss francs per month again. Uh, oh no, it's, it's per year, sorry. <laughs> 2,500 Swiss francs per year. But yeah, it's, it's always going to be like that. So sometimes it drops a bit and certainly, yeah, the dollar, it, it dropped considerably this year. Now it's picking up again. But the euro, it already lost 8% this year. So we received quite a lot of uh, dividends in the form of euros. And yeah, this has a, a huge effect on, on the amount that we received. So it is the way it is. And in the end, if you keep adding consistently to your portfolio, it will move up. Then the dividends for November that we can expect. So XYLF. We have the X date is this month on the 31st of October, so Thursday. The record date is going to be the 1st of November, so on Friday. And the payable date is the Friday thereafter. And it's going to be almost 14 cents per share. So that's quite nice. But it's a little bit less than uh, previous year. Then it was a little bit higher than uh, 14 cents per, per share. Then GLDV, they just announced it on Friday. So on Friday, they announced that it's going to go X coupon on the 1st of November. So on Friday, next Friday, the record date is the 4th, so the Monday after. And then the payment date is going to be the 12th of November. And the distribution is, is going to be 0 0.2885. And last year, I think it was 0 0.32 dollars. So, yeah, four cents less than uh, last year in the same quarter. But 
both are in dollars so the pile of US dollars so will increase further and hopefully we get closer and closer to our five hundred dollars but I I think I, we were we are going to get close to five four hundred dollars for investing into our immersion market ETF but if we have around four hundred to five hundred dollars we are going to buy the immersion market ETF because he is going to pay out dollars as well so it's going to contribute to our amount that we have in dollars as well and we are going to get quicker and quicker and quicker in uh, going towards five hundred dollars and then yeah hopefully increase the percentage of the emergent markets in our ETF portfolio before they actually start picking up luckily for now the emergent markets are relatively slow okay China it moved up considerably with the with the package that they announced to stimulate the economy but yeah it's uh it's still not that great how the emerging markets uh, performed in the past five ten years so hopefully we can pick up the emerging market uh, etf still while it's relatively cheap and then the update overview to finish the video off so we invested 905.40 Swiss francs and we reinvested 462.80 Swiss francs this month and we also put 200 Swiss francs into our U portfolio and I can refer to my next video I'm going to record it after I had my dinner with my family so hopefully I can post it uh, Monday morning then the future yield dividends now are 2,536.14 Swiss francs per year or 211.35 Swiss francs per month and here it's correct per year not like on my previous uh, slide there last month we are up 927.10 Swiss francs for our portfolio which means that we have an increase of 1.74% which is really great and our total portfolio worth now is 55,056.59 Swiss francs and we have a dividend yield of 4.61% so a little bit down again compared to last month but that's uh, to be inspected I expected when you reinvest dividends into new ETFs because yeah you you pick up ETFs that are actually less in dividend than the dividend that you receive from your money that you invested earlier for which you invested into cheaper ETFs I should say it like that and with that being said thank you for watching and see you next time on my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content hit that like button as well it helps out the channel enormously thank you for watching and see you on the next one bye